Welcome back at 430 everyone. I'm Tamara Sakarzik. Now the arraignment is over. We're looking ahead to what's next with this case. NBC 10 political analyst Wendy Schiller joins me live now. Wendy, thank you for being here. Hi, Tamara. We want to get right into it. We're not seeing any video from inside of the courtroom. Of course, we just saw some still photos of today's arraignment. Now we do know that a judge ruled that TV cameras would not be allowed inside. What do you think the reasoning is behind that? Well, uh, I think the judge didn't want to make it a circus. I think it's deference to the Oval Office. Trump was president of the United States. And people can argue that even though he is being charged with crimes, that he deserves some level of deference and respect and not making this into a complete chaotic circus. And we've heard a lot of variation around this next point. If there is a conviction, would that prevent Trump from running for president in 2024? If there is a conviction in this particular set of cases, then it, it would not preclude President Trump from running or serving in 2024. Uh, one of the few things that would preclude him is a conviction of sedition, essentially treason against the United States of America. As far as I understand, none of the charges involved today um, amount to that level of a crime. Right, so it doesn't sound like that is in this particular court case. Now, Wendy, so far when we talk about, you know, the next presidential election, I know that this has actually kind of garnered uh, some popularity for the former president when it comes to his base, energizing his base. Uh, I was watching NBC News this morning, and they were saying that he is now even further ahead of Ron DeSantis and polls of, you know, a possible 2024 presidential run for the both of them. So do you think this is going to help him, or do you think the case could hurt him or do we really have to wait and see what happens and what is involved in the case in the short term this indictment helps donald trump it shines a bright spotlight on him and it rallies his team just like sports analogy you get a bad call maybe you committed the foul maybe you did it but you always root for your team that's exactly what's happening within the republican party at the elite level elected officials and among the base but there's also no real viable choice Asa Hutchinson's running, Nikki Haley's running, other people might get in, but Ron DeSantis is the most well-known potential challenger, and he has not declared. So right now, this is the only team in town for Republicans, and that's what's solidifying Trump's base. If nobody gets in or DeSantis waits too long, Trump will solidify his lead, and he will become more likely to be the nominee. But in terms of the general election in 2024, watch the polling on independents. Independents are the swing. They gave Biden the presidency in 2020, and in 2022, they voted slightly in favor of Democrats. Will they go back to Trump, or will this indictment push them further away? All right, so it's something that we'll have to watch in the coming months ahead of the election. Wendy Schiller, thank you so much for joining us and providing that insight.